I've actually started doing a lot more shorts on my channel. I'm trying to experiment with doing more shorts as opposed to only doing long form videos because I want to try to get in front of different audiences and shorts tend to get in front of different audiences than the long form videos. Um, I've also got sponsors coming to me saying, Hey, I would love to pay for a short on your channel. So I'm like, okay, well maybe <laughs> I should start doing shorts then. Um, so I've actually started playing around with more shorts. And so I created this uh, custom project in Claude. And if you're not familiar with custom projects, but you are familiar with like custom GPTs, it's basically Claude's version of a custom GPT, right? So I created this one called shorts writer. And what I did with it was, uh, you can see I uploaded a whole bunch of transcripts from shorts that I thought were really, really good shorts. Mm -hmm. So I came across shorts that had a lot of views um, that were in sort of technical niches that talked about, you know, AI or talked about like emerging tech or things like that. And I downloaded each of the videos and then I pulled them into Descript to get the transcript from the video. And then I uploaded all of the scripts from all of these videos that I found and then basically what I told this custom Claude prompt to do is to read the scripts that I uploaded and try to find the sort of consistent formula that seems to make all of these work well. Mm -hmm. And for anything I put into the prompt box, give me a similar script. So that's essentially the way I did it. And so now if there's like a new piece of news, so if I go over to like, uh, a news website. I know you can't actually see this because I'm just sharing the one tab. But if I go to like a news website, there's some news out today about how the humane pin is actually getting more refunds than it has purchases right now. Uh, not a great look for humane. But if I was to go and copy the entire article and come over to Claude, you can see I can paste in the entire article and it makes this little like pasted box here. So I just posted in the entire article from The Verge about how Humane's performance is underperforming right now. I don't have to put anything into the prompt box because it already knows what I'm looking for. And if I just hit enter on this, it's going to read this news article and then write me a script based on this news article that I put in here. That's crazy. So you, 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 get, you're, you could do that with like a faceless YouTube channel too, couldn't you? You, you could, like, yeah. Like so it just gave me, it knows that I want my script to be under 60 seconds. Um, yeah. I'm trying to model Cleo Abrams is like one of my favorite uh, YouTubers as far as like shorts go. She does a really good job with them. So it's kind of trying to model a similar formula to what Cleo's videos are. And you can see it wrote like a 60-ish second script about that news article that I just put in. Humane just launched their AI pin, wearable device meant to replace your smartphone, but things aren't going as planned. Imagine you create a revolutionary new gadget. You spend years developing it, raise over 200 million from big tech <laughs> names, and finally release it to the world. But then more people return it than keep it, right? And it just wrote this whole script for me that's yeah. actually a pretty like compelling, interesting script. That... It sounds, yeah, it sounds like a, a good short. <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, um... you take this script, I, I throw it into my teleprompter here, I read it, I overlay it with B-roll, <laughs> <laughs> and I can crank out shorts in 45 minutes, you know? Wait a minute, is that, is that what you're doing? Are you changing anything? <laughs> are you, are you uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of times it's not specifically worded yeah, yeah. the way I would word it, right? Sometimes yeah. it'll use, like, Delve or, you know, the, the common words <laughs> that, like, make it yeah. obvious that it's AI. So I will, you know, tweak some words to make it sound a little bit more like me. But for the most part, the scripts come out pretty good out of the box. That's wild. Um, let, me, let me see if I can show you my system prompt here. So uh, create video scripts that will be one minute or less in the style of Cleo Abram. Use the transcripts in the project knowledge to determine the consistent formula behind the video scripts. Then use the details about the video idea inside of the prompt to create a video about the details in the prompt in the style of the Cleo Abrams videos following a very similar formula. So it's, I uploaded the transcripts and it's following a very similar formula because I really liked her flow. She always starts with like, imagine this and then give some more details and yeah. then like it's got a very formulaic flow to it and i was like i really like that flow let's see if i can make a little uh formula that creates shorts for me that follow a very similar flow so now i can plug in any news article any sales page if i need to make a video about like the rabbit r1 i uh, like just describing what it is i can go to the rabbit r1 homepage, copy the all of the details from that page right? Copy all of the, the bullets and the selling points of the product, paste them in, and it will write a short for me that will ideally make people interested in the rabbit, right? So um, yeah. 
that little like flow for me has made making short form content really really easy for me that's crazy i was imagining like if you combine that with like 11 labs and like generating a voice <laughs> reading yeah, all yeah. of it out and then you start using some of the new ai video tools that are out there i think there was a new open source one released today or it's going to be released soon um you know generate some b-roll or something like that i mean yeah, like, yeah. you have like most of the video just like done like automatically Man, that's not really a future i'm looking forward to yeah yeah i know exactly i'm like somebody's gonna do that it's gonna be either great or horrible or somewhere yeah in the lower that we bury the entry the the the, the yeah. lower we bring this barrier to entry to create content like this yeah the more we're just gonna get flooded with junk so i'm like i'm always yeah. sort of hesitant to share this kind of stuff because i'm like this works really well for me but i also know like if something doesn't come out quality, I'm not going to upload it. A lot of right. other people aren't going to have those filters, right? A lot of other people are going to go, oh, I can make a workflow where I can crank out a video every 10 minutes and just see what works. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that future, but I found a workflow that works for me. And I know, you know, a lot of others might find it valuable. If there's like a, a, a content creator that you're like, oh, they have a decent formula, a decent flow that they, they follow when they make their videos. <laughs> you can actually use a tool like this to reverse engineer the flow of the video and then use that reverse engineering to then make videos for you based on the topics that you input. And to me, that's really powerful, but also the lowering of the barrier for effort like also makes it sort of scary. And um, so I hope nobody goes and takes this idea and runs with it. <laughs> tons of people will <laughs> tons of people will that's Damn it. Um, but, but i think long term yeah people want to see people's faces and actually know who the who's the person behind it and and like you said yeah. even even if you have claude help you make that you're still curating you're still, still coming up with the idea to do the video in the first place you're reviewing yeah. the content making sure it's the kind of stuff you would say and then kind of customizing it to your voice so at least there's yeah, that yeah. still curation and you know aspect there